Hey there gang, Isaac Lemonis here with Arbor Own Inc. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to uh, switch toolbars on an applicator, essentially switching uh, meter tubes to uh, your crone head unit in your cab. All right, let's dive in. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to take a look at is uh, the GKL number on the meter tube on the applicator itself. Um, here, as you can see here, this decal, um, don't really like these from Crone. They blow off with power washing and whatnot, but we got our GKL, GK, GKL number. Um, first number is GK, second number is GKL at 5.9991 on this toolbar. Um, one good thing to, to do, good practice that we started doing here is on this cap, Put your serial number and your GKL number underneath it. So if you do lose this uh, lose this decal, you got it covered. All right, let's head up to the cab. All right, now we're at the uh, head unit here in the cab. Um, this customer put the decal here for the GKL number for the Pottinger and the dribble bar since they switched back and forth. And the Crow and Help hotline. I do not think that hotline number is right anymore. If you are looking for that hotline number, shoot me a message, give me a jingle, and I can send it over to you. But at the at the head unit here, we're gonna press and hold the, uh, the quick start button to get in, release, um, click in the quick setup, click down to analog output, or excuse me, process input. Click okay. And here we will see the meter size. So if you're switching from a six inch to an eight inch, you, you need to adjust that. Um, and your GKL, you can dump that in there. And pretty much as easy as that, uh, make sure all your wires are cleanly ran, no bends in it, uh, with a double shielded cable, a sensing cable. Um, bends and kinks in your wire are gonna really, really affect how you're, how you're set up there. So proper wire routing is pretty, pretty huge. So, yeah, any questions, feel free to give me a jingle or shoot me a message. Thank you.